Okay, y'all, let's get right into it with some good dynamic warm up. We're gonna get at the back of our mat, crawl forward, drop those hips to an up dog. I like to let the hips shift forward, squeeze my butt for a moment, walk back, try to keep your hands flat to the ground as long as you can, bend the knees and stand all the way up. Now, right in front of me, you'll notice that Brittany is doing the modified version of, of the activities. And right behind me, Michaela's going to be staying right with me. We're starting off and there's no need to modify unless um, you feel like you don't want to bring that chest up high and you want to bend those elbows just a little bit. And if you want to listen to your lower back not feeling comfortable, feel free to get into that. And last one here, come on back, crawl it, drop, push through those heels and stand up high. Now, pushing through the heels is always what I want with all of your squats. And speaking of which, our next activity and warm up, we're gonna start with our feet together. Hands straight out like we just pushed. Now step to the side, drive your elbows in, keep your chest up like a row, and exhale to stand. Side to side, inhale and exhale. And again, you get to decide the speed. Right now, we're not here for cardio, we are here for strength training. I'm trying to activate that back, that mid back, is all about making sure you have a nice tall stance with your posture. How low are you able to drop those hips as you drive those elbows in and you keep your chest up high? My questions are not rhetorical. I want you to show me. I am watching you. It's very creepy. I can see you. I can see you. Get down low and open up these hips. Open up this front body as you drive those elbows back. Last couple moments here, side to side we go. Side to side we go. Keep that breathing. I want that to be a top concern. Don't let yourself hold your breath. It is not that time. Right now, you breathe and become more powerful by using that powerful instrument of your breath. Last one here, and rest. Now, the legs are warm. So when we get back to this crawl, no more up dog. We're gonna do a Superman. So walk it forward, lie down, try to go sternum first, hip flash, Superman. Squeeze that back body, squeeze that booty. Push up high, walk it back, and sit down low. Now, if you can drop your hips lower than those knees and that feels comfortable for you, please indulge me in that. But if that's not where your range of motion is, feel free to just try to take it as low as you feel comfortable but a nice goal is getting your hips at least to the height of the knees, okay? We're just rocking that body, coming forward, Superman, and pushing it right back up. I let my back round just a little bit when I push back up out of the Superman, just to take my spine in opposite ranges of motion. So open the chest, then I push, close the chest, Walk it back, drop this booty low, hands to prayer, just a few more to go. And yes, I do want your heels planted when you get back to that squat. If you're having trouble with that, most likely taking your feet a little couple inches wider will help you out with that. Let's get another one. We got the time. Walk it out. Remember, this is still warm up and we are not here for cardio. We are here for strength training. And when you think about what that should mean for your workout, slow it down, rest. Stand on up, slow down, try to get as deep into your range of motions as possible each time. Now, I want you to drive your elbows down your back and open your chest, just like you'd be doing if you were on a lat pull down machine. And when you squat, I want you to reach overhead. Don't feel pressure to look straight forward. You can look kind of at a 45 degree angle, towards the ground, keep the neck comfortable. So I'm inhaling as I get down because that's gonna fill my body and help me stretch and reach, reach, reach. Exhale, come on up, pull those elbows down to your back. So my hands are really trying to go almost towards the back of the room. So I'm not only reaching high, I'm pulling my hands towards the back, getting a little bit more activation through my back body. More than halfway there, you'll notice I pulse my elbows down as I come up high. I just want to get as much out of that back as I can. 
Ooh, yes. Feeling it. Hello. How low are you going to go, though? Hello. Ooh, are you going to go? Last moments here. Ooh. And final. Inhale. Exhale. And stand tall. Very nice. Now, from those squat positions, we're going to get into our first exercise, and it involves a deadlift and a row. So we've got two big old muscle groups that are working primarily here, and they are both in the back of your body. I want you to respect that by grabbing on to some significant weight, and um, the majority of this workout is designated for a significant kind of weight. So chest open. We're going to lift those hips, look towards the ground, one row, let it down and squeeze that butt and stand tall. So a nice deadlift, lift those hips, drive the elbows and high. And again, just like I was saying before, it's not cardio, it's strength training. So look for consistency in movement, more of a steady state training, not a high intensity hit, okay? One drive of the elbows at the very bottom. I'm even keeping my elbows close to the body which is just more of a signal that I can handle some big old weights here. We do have longer intervals. So um, if anything is not feeling beautiful and good, you can just slow it down, take a bigger pause when you're at the very top. When I'm coming up, I'm not even thinking stand up. All I think is squeeze that butt, boom. Okay, and, it, and my body will do the rest. Pull. Let it down and squeeze. One thing I see a lot are people that start to stand up before they let their arms all the way down. I want you to let them all the way down each time. One more, pull it down and squeeze. Okay, so this is the part where you can drop the weight for like 10 seconds if you'd like. All that we're gonna do with each set is increase the amount of time that your elbows are high. We're gonna pulse at the very top. So let's start with two seconds. Come on down, inhale, exhale, pulse, two. One, down, and squeeze that butt. So right now, every time I stand up, I'm giving myself just a quick moment and going right back down. If you don't feel you're ready for that uh, pacing, you spend more time at the top, no shame in that game. Because when you're standing at the top, you're squeezing that butt, you're still getting some work done. When you stand back up, you're lifting your chest, depressing your shoulders down your back. So there's always something working if you're doing this right. Squeeze it, come right back into it. Just a two, a one, a down, a squeeze it. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Good. Two, a one, a down. So you should hear the sound of my voice, this beautiful pop sugar music, and the sound of your breathing. Exhale and rest. I'm gonna rest my hands for a hot second. You can shake out these hands if you like. Hey, how you gonna do it? How are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? Oh my God, that was such an embarrassing twerk. Please forgive me. Now, we're going to grab those weights and it just goes to a three second. Let's get it. Go. Three, two, one, and bring it back up. Now, when I'm going between exercises and giving an explanation, if you feel like you could last longer in these sets, you can keep working through my explanation. We don't have to have the same pause breaks. I'm here to collaborate with you in these workouts. I want you to push yourself towards your limits respectfully and responsibly. So if that is um, that you'd like to move fast, you'd like these um, work intervals to last longer, I support you in all that you do. If that means you can go grab heavier weights, I definitely support you. Let's affect this body, y'all. You get what you give in this life. So give a lot to this workout so we can give a lot of these results right back. Let's get one more in there. Lift the hips. Pulse hit three, two, one, and down. Good. So we're about to go to that interval. Those biceps may start to feel it too. Just really focus on getting these elbows up high. Okay, that was enough of a break. Grab on, pick it up, squeeze that butt, and go. You know, one of the funniest things I see when I'm teaching are people that we're in the midst of practicing a really good hinge, the proper way to pick up a heavy piece of equipment, 
But when they put their weights on the ground and pick them back up, they do it with really sloppy form. Watch the way you're picking up your weights as well. Are you using the form that we are teaching you right now, bending those knees, trying to keep that back in a nice controlled position? I hope you are. It's not about just learning how to be stronger in the midst of a workout. It's learning how to be stronger in your everyday life. I want you to use this form. When you're picking up your groceries, bend these knees. Get your legs ready to help your back. Attack these weights. Last one here. Pulse it up. Four, three, two, one. Hands down. Squeeze that butt, stand tall, and let's get down to the flow. So we've been working the back, and this next exercise is gonna combine all the uh, muscles of the back body, and then we're gonna um, flip right over and work the muscles of the front body. So, hands up, hips up high. I want you to reach one arm at a time to the back of the room. My hips are gonna stay consistently high, I inhale as I reach overhead to try to get my body to be as long as possible. Now, if you feel you can control these weights well, um, but you don't feel comfortable touching the ground, that's okay, you don't have to. That's the way to modify it just a bit. But I would love for you to try to keep these arms long. If you gotta bend it, there's no shame in that game. It will make you use more triceps, and using more triceps will make you hate the next exercise even more. But hey, there's always some sacrifice to be made, okay? There's always some benefit and some consequence to everything in life. So sometimes you just gotta choose your route. You hear me? I'm being philosophical. Keep moving, thank you. Rest. Now, we're gonna turn over and these are gonna be our first shorter intervals of today. I want one push up and then one reach with the hand. Switch hands every time. Let's get a quick 20 seconds in here, maybe 25. Low, exhale, high. So Brittany's on those knees, but if you wanna be on the toes, you can definitely just put those feet a little bit wider and that will modify it a bit. And also you can do the push up on the knees, then pick up your knees for that reach, if you can handle that. One more here, and rest. I did an odd number of push-ups. I will start on the other hand when I reach for this second set. The second set starts in five seconds. You know you're ready, let's get on it. And go, get low, and reach it. <laughs> nice. As you push the ground away and lift that hand, that's the best time to exhale. Right, I'm not just thinking about the hand that's lifting, the hand that's on the ground, I'm really pushing that into the ground. <sighs> okay, and trying to gain control of the center of my body. <sighs> and last one here. <sighs> okay, rest. So we're gonna turn over, get right back on our back, and reach to the back of the room. This time I want you to have the option of taking the same side leg as the hand that goes overhead up with you. Take, make it nice and controlled. I like to keep my knee at the same angle, like 90 degree angle that I have it in when it's uh, my foot is on the ground. It stays in that whole time. And that just takes a little bit more work from the core. The more you have a goal and are making the body do what you want it to do rather than whatever it's trying to just make happen. That's the more muscle that you are activating and calling upon your recruiting. Get this body to do what you want it to do. You're in charge. This is your instrument. The best instrument you're ever gonna be given. So learn how to control it, okay? Use your breath once again. Inhale, take it back. Exhale back to center. See, we can make this a nice long interval because it's calm. You can just catch your breath and feel good, <laughs> okay? Uh-huh, there's a method to my madness, y'all and rest. Now we're gonna turn over, get back to the push-ups and the reach, but I want you guys to have the option of adding your opposite leg. You're gonna really wanna exhale when you're lifting the opposite arm and leg and feel control of the limbs that are staying on the ground. 
So get low, exhale, extend. Inhale low, exhale high, exhale. I'm locking the knee of the leg that stays on the ground and I'm focusing in on that foot, not turning while my opposite arm and leg are in the air. Let's get one more here and, and rest. Good show. We're doing one more round of those. I know they're hard, but they're worth it, okay? Feel everything on that body working. Three, two, and go. And if this is your second, third time doing this video, plus some of y'all are on like the 50th time with some of my videos, and you're getting strong, and you don't need that 10 second break, don't take it. Keep moving. Oh, yes. I love when I hear from people that have taken the video, and they're like, I was working harder than you the whole time. <laughs> I'm joking, no one's ever said that. <laughs> oh, I have heard I laugh at my jokes too much though. That, people say. Ooh, last one. Yeah. Bring it down with control, rest, and let's stand up. So, we feel good, we're feeling flexible, we're feeling like a towel break is appropriate with all the drip drip that's coming, and now, we're gonna have a little bit of balance as we're in a split squat and we're dropping that knee as low as we feel comfortable as we bicep curl. So the majority of my weight's on that front leg. I'm doing the right leg. Notice my left heel is high. My left glute is active when I'm standing tall. Coming down low and right back up. How low can you go? Maybe you're still feeling those biceps <laughs> from when we were doing those rows. Don't worry, you are not alone. Renier feels it too. Anybody else? You don't have to say it. You don't have to say you feel it just because I asked. You can be like, no, Renier. Okay, but let me just admit, let me just say I'm using some 20s now. Okay, these weights are significant for at least a higher rep workout. Maybe. Ooh. Okay, let's get one more here. Oh, and rest. Now, we're gonna come down on the knee. I still keep my right foot in front, but my left leg is giving me a lot of support. I'm flexing that glute. We're gonna do a shoulder press and stay straight up and down. So meet in front, come out and press. Open and push. And just breathe it through, y'all. Right. Oh yeah, baby. How tall can you stay? Let yourself get supported on that left leg. Ooh. One more good one. I'm gonna give you a short break, just 10 seconds. Rest. Okay. One more time. If you wanna increase your speed and you have that in you and the form's gonna look right, please do it. Ready, second set. Go. Push it, yes. Breathe through. Ha. Right back in front of the body and push. Traditionally known as Arnold presses, we get a little bit of anterior delt by bringing it back to the front, and then push it up to the sky, try to lock out those elbows, try to lock out those triceps. Oh yes, baby, one more, come on. Hey, a rest, okay. Let's come on up. We're gonna trade legs, left foot is forward. Our right knee's gonna get as low as we feel comfortable as we bicep curl, ready, Go. Now, I like to take my knee down and tap it gently to the ground to show off that range of motion. If that's not comfortable for you, find the level that is how low you feel comfortable going. We're going all the way through on a nice long interval here because I know those biceps can take it because both of these ladies just said they didn't feel it, okay? <laughs> I'll never forget, I'll never forget, I heard you. Okay, <laughs> let's get it, y'all. Come on. And if you don't feel it either, that's a good sign that next time you need to pick up some heavier weights. You heard me? Let's go. Ooh. And final one. Ah! I'd say I'm tall. Okay, we get back on to that knee. Again, if you aren't comfortable on the knee, you can take a towel, you can fold the mat, get a little extra cushion. And now, let's shoulder press it, huh? Push it, 
and back down, guys. The, kneeling is one of those positions where you don't realize how much balance it is until you almost fall off balance, and you're like, oh, this is balance training, I get it, okay? I'm very concerned with my torso staying tight, my right glute staying active, and me just staying tall. We can get one more. Yeah. Okay, a little rest here. Again, if you don't need that rest, don't take it. You don't gotta be a follower in this life. Don't be afraid to be an individual, y'all. Do your own thing. Second set, can you speed it up? Go. Only speed it up if you felt really comfortable. Okay, get maybe one or two extra reps in. But don't get it twisted. <sighs> Holding high to the sky, that's good work. <sighs> so having a nice pause on these weights overhead <sighs> is always a good idea. Yep. Uh, come on, let's get one more. One more, one more. Yeah. Okay, rest. Nice. Okay, y'all. We're going to actually stay on the ground. I mean, we're already here. We might as well. When you get some more good core training, we're starting in a modified plank, side plank. My left arm directly underneath my left shoulder. I got a dumbbell in front of my body. What I want you to do, grab that dumbbell, come under your body, pull it in, and push it up. Now, you have the option when you push it up to the sky of raising that right leg nice and high. Again, this is about exploring your range of motion, getting into your obliques. So no need to rush, especially on the way down. Really try to reach under that body towards the back of the room. Whew. You can feel that glute work as you lift that leg if you're choosing that option. We're more than halfway there. Pull it and push it to the sky. There it is, come on. Nice, breathing. Up, exhale, high. Less than 10 seconds remain. Whew. Bring it and a push. Down and around. Bring it and a push. I lied, I'm adding one on because I can. I'm in charge. Okay, bring it and a push. And down. And when it goes down to the ground, it's a rest. Now, from there, we're going to stay on the same side and do a side plank. These are only going to be 25 seconds long. You can do side plank on the elbow or on the hand. Push the ground away, lift those hips high, and hold. Ooh. Now, I'm trying to stack my legs, which is a little higher level. Shoulders down the back, I'm squeezing my butt. It should feel like you're standing tall, even though you're on your side. Push into that ground, okay? Whether it's your elbow or your hand. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Reaching high towards the sky, pushing your left hand into the ground. Four, three, two, one. Good news. One more set on this side. That could be the good or the bad news. I guess if it's your glass half empty or glass half full person. Okay, now push from the ground. Ready and go. Now, if you want to try it on your hands, but you're not ready for your feet to be stacked, you could always separate the feet. It'll make it a little bit easier, but you could still practice that higher level. Oh, here it is. Okay, I feel it. We got 10 seconds. That's all, you know? What is 10 seconds in this short life we have to live? But something to enjoy and rest. Okay, we're gonna turn over. I'm giving you a nice break because we're about to have this left arm push the dumbbell to the sky. And that left arm was just working pretty hard. So let's start setting up right hand underneath the shoulder, left hand in front of the body, reach underneath and pull and push it high. Again, you have that option of raising that left leg as you go up to the sky with that dumbbell. And I just alluded to something that I'm always trying to speak about. These moments when we're working out, these are times to enjoy. You gotta work out the rest of your life. You don't wanna dread this experience. You wanna look forward to it. This is you time, okay? And if you can enjoy challenges like this in life, imagine how much more you're gonna enjoy things that are actually just incredibly fun with um, no hard work attached to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you do. That's your last one right there. And low. 
So, on the right hand, side plank. We start in three, two, hello, go. So again, we're looking for pristine posture. Shoulders down the back, chest open, booty is squeezed. I want you to try to turn on as much of your body as possible, okay? Not only focus on the fact that our shoulder is most likely feeling this the most. We got five, four, squeeze that butt, three, lock those quads, and ease down, rest. Oh, one more of those to go. We got this. I know, right? We got this. I mean, why am I acting like this is so hard? And up, hold, and you can just feel the ending coming. We're about to stretch. It's gonna feel so good. Everybody's excited about it. I'm very excited about it. Just push into the ground. Oh, I feel it. Come on, keep those hips up high. Finish this off here. Five, four, a three, a two, a one, and down. Oh, goodness. Okay, y'all. We're gonna stand up and get ourselves a nice standing stretch. We've had a lot of oblique work today, a lot of side body work. So let's start with these legs wide. First, I want you to push your hips to the right, reach your right hand to the left, and take a big breath as you reach your right hand even further. So inhale, reach, 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 stretch that side body. Exhale, come up and around and take that left hand to the right, your hips to the left, and let's do the same thing. Inhale, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, come up and around. And again, we're gonna reach, this time, you can look down at your left leg, or that left foot, and I want you to bend your right knee. I want you to get as low as you feel comfortable. If you can lift the outside of your left leg, do it. Try to keep the upper body open to the front of the room. Inhale one more time. Exhale, come up and around. And switch. I'm gonna look at that right foot, and I'm gonna bend my left knee, keep my upper body open to the front of the room. If you can lift the outside of that right foot, you can do it. Shift as much weight onto that left leg as possible. Inhale, and exhale to stand tall. Now that may be where you wanna stop with that progression. If you wanna go one more level high, lift that left toe, keep your left leg long. You're gonna reach your left hand for your right foot as that right hand reaches overhead, staying open in the front room just like before. Feel that increased stretch in your left um, hamstring. Big deep breath, reaching in both directions. That right hand reaches to the left. Exhale, up and around. And again, right toe up, right hand reaching for the left heel, and left hand reaching for that right wall. Oh yes, one of my favorites. Keep that chest as open to the front of the room as you can. Nice deep breath. Reach with that deep breath. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, and come on up. Now, I want you to squeeze your booty, bend your knees gently, and reach to the front of the room as you try to look back or maybe up to the sky, squeeze that butt. How far back can you go? Inhale, deep breath, and exhale. Come back forward, and let's just hang right here. My neck is resting comfortably, just hanging, and I can grab my opposite elbow with my hands. Just let the upper body hang. The lower body has the majority of your weight. My hips are up high. And then I want you, as your upper body is just hanging, to bring your feet in towards each other one step at a time. Make it calm, make it calm. When your feet are under your shoulders, just hang there. Let your head hang heavy. Let your arms just hang now. Let go of those elbows. Those hands just come down. Shake your head, yes. If you're just so happy about that amazing workout and you've taken in all that positive energy, shake your head no for any negative thoughts you're having because you don't have time for negativity in your life. That is not going to serve you. Let's shake our head yes one more time because we love to end on a positive. And then slight bend in the knees. 
starting with that low back keep that neck hanging heavy go to that lumbar spine thoracic spine then end with that cervical grab those hands inhale squeeze that butt reach back one more time inhale exhale forward and thank you so much for joining me today great job everybody <laughs>